I'm going to tell you about Indonesia's geography. Indonesia covers about one eighth of the world's circumference. Also, um, Indonesia has 17,508 islands, but uh, two thirds of them are not livable. Also, Indonesia covers about 735,538 square miles. Indonesia lives by um, Australia, Brunei, Thailand, and Malaysia. Um, one of the ge ge geographical landmarks in Indonesia is Mount Kilimutu, which is located west of Pap Papua New Guinea. It is about 18,023 feet high and is one of the seven summits of the world. Um, also, Indonesia has the world's largest archipelago, which it, an archipelago is a string of islands, so they have the world's largest, and they have a lot of active volcanoes. That's some of the things about Indonesia's geography. Okay, now I'm going to teach you about Indonesian clothing. Okay, first off, most of the Indonesians wear western style um, dress. But there is clothing specific to their country. Indonesians wear a sarong, which is a wraparound skirt that both men and women wear. Also, there's a petite cloth that has many different patterns and objects that are also put onto shirts, strongs for both men and women to wear. And as you guys can see, I am actually wearing a batik, and there's many different patterns, and there's like a pocket there. So yeah. There's also a cane, pain jane, which is a type of fabric that can be wrapped around tightly around the hips and waist. Um, for men, there is a kebaya, which is a blouse that has many different patterns and embroidery. Women also wear a slendang, which can be tossed over or worn across the torso to carry babies and baskets. Or other objects, obviously. Um, but all regions of Indonesian have best different styles of their own. Children wear a school, school uniform. They're, when you're in Indonesia, you kind of have to wear a school uniform. Um, Indonesia does export clothing, and they do get a fair amount of money for that. Oh, hello there. I guess I'm going to have to teach you another thing about Indonesia. Let me just finish my food. Okay, I'm just going to talk to you about Indonesia's religion. That is super serious in Indonesia. So one of the religions Indonesia has is Muslim, which is the most popular, Protestant, Roman Catholic, and Hindu, and Buddhism. The Muslims believe there is only one God, who is Allah. Allah. The main holidays of Islam is the Muslim New Year, the birth of Prophet Muhammad, and the accession of the Pro of Prophet Muhammad. Ramadan and the end of Ramadan. During Ramadan, the Muslims fast fast for a month, only eating when the sun is not up. So that's kind of crazy, I think. Um, so that's what they do. 
um, the Indonesians, um, most Indonesians who don't have day jobs, um, pray every day in a place called the mosque, but the main praying day or religion day is Friday, that's when everyone has to go pray because, I mean, it's just their main religion, and Indonesia has the world's, um, most popular Muslim population, and that came from the trade routes from India and China who brought, um, Muslim or Islam to, um, Indonesia, so, but in Hinduism and Buddhism were there before Islam, so, yeah. tell you about Indonesia's transportation. Indonesia has like a transportation non-modern in the small cities and modern in the big cities. Most of the things they use are cars, ships, taxis, buses, bikes, trains, planes, all that stuff. People get, get around by using buses, taxis, and trains. People in the small cities get around by using rickshaws, which is like a thing that like, gets pulled um, by a, well, gets driven by a person. And um, they also, people also just walk. And transportation is okay, affordable. But it's not like super expensive, but in the in, like small towns it's affordable. While the transportation is affordable, not a lot of people use it. And people don't use it because there's not a lot of roads. And yeah. Well, I guess I can teach you a little bit about Indonesia's recreation. So, um, some of the no most known sports for Indonesia is soccer and badminton. Um, some of Indonesia's national sports are, bull I mean, yeah, pole racing, which is two bulls attached to a cart and like they race like that. And then there's also pinkat silat. And that's an Indonesian martial art where they fight with their hands and sometimes use sticks. Um, what Indonesians like to do in their free time is play volleyball, chess, or board games, soccer, stuff like that. And um, Indonesia has won the most Olympic medals in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and that is six gold medals, and they got in the and the reason they have all that is because of their badminton and weightlifting. Also, this helps Indonesia's economy is because it gets out to people like some sports bars and, make, and um, the bars make money or watching sports, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a little bit about Indonesia's recreation.